it is Tuesday morning and we're all here. We just checked in all our bags. Everyone from Middleton FBLA is slowly coming up to take the traditional PF Chang's photo. And I think our flight's at like 11, 10-ish, so we have some time, we just have to go through security. I think everyone's super excited. You can see everyone wearing matching shirts that Mr. Trina made us gathering around. It's like a mob of high schoolers. I don't think the airport people are happy, but you know, it's okay. It's okay, we're here anyway. Oh, we're going to Chicago for FBLA Nationals 2022. Everyone's really excited. Competitions and everything start tomorrow morning, so today we're just getting to our hotel, getting our rooms, relaxing a little bit, and we're all really Okay, so currently, an update on where we are. We're in front of the in-construction bathrooms. Very inconvenient for us since we have to walk all the way that way to actually get water or, you know, the restroom. But anyway, we made it past security. No one got patted down, which was great, I think, right? Will zooming in on random people. I you know. And you got, Will got patted down? I mean, he's a suspicious guy, so I'm not surprised. Anyway, so we're just waiting at the gate. We're a few hours early anyway. Our flight's at 11.10. It's 9.48, but better early than late. So you know what? I'm, I'm good with it. People are getting their Starbucks. Everything is expensive. It's the airport. So we're all going to be broke before we get to Chicago, but it's going great. Yeah, so I guess we'll see you once we're on the flight. And yeah, that's all for now. Um, so we waited in line forever at Starbucks as per usual because, you know, Starbucks is never fast. It should be. It should be. But anyway, um, I guess in the meantime, we are rushing to the gate, like just like at Home Alone, except without the running. Because they certainly they started boarding and, we're, you know, we're boarding group A because we're cool. But that also means that we are missing, um, you know, the boarding. So that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. Cheers. Love was out to get me. sipping our Starbucks and yeah we're, we boarded we're done we're just waiting for it to take off they told us to keep the windows closed to keep it cold even though I really want to look out the window even though there's literally nothing happening outside it's just kind of just kind of empty um, but yeah so we're gonna take off soon hopefully everyone's ears don't die and hopefully we see some cool clouds on the way your ears will die? no I forgot about that oh well I'm glad I reminded you okay yeah so see you in Chicago just landed in Chicago, like literally just landed. We just closed all the windows and stuff, so if it's a little dark, uh, that is why. Um, we actually got here like half an hour early, which was really cool, I think. Um, so we get to the hotel a little earlier. It gives our shopper and group some time to explore the river walk more, which I'm happy about, and then go and crash study for the test tomorrow, of course, as, as FBLA members do. Um, yeah, it was a pretty smooth plane ride. I just read a book the entire time. Well, it was being annoying, as per usual. Push she was great. She's always great, we love her. Um, yeah, middle of Nefile, pretty, pretty normal plane ride. We arrived early, I think because we're just that cool, um, pers personal opinion. And yeah, so I guess we're gonna get our bags, go to the hotel, eat some food, and then go explore a little bit. That's it. How would you
Lane. We are now at Baggage Claim. Baggage Claim, as per usual, is taking forever. Literally no suitcases on the belt. Um, everyone's waiting. You can see all of us in our little Middleton FBLA National shirts. We're all repping. And yeah, we're just waiting. Hopefully I get my suitcase soon. Yeah, and we're all it, repping Middleton FBLA. Yep, and it doesn't get lost. And it doesn't get lost and get sold to that store in Utah because that's a thing. Yeah. Definitely a thing. Yeah. Yeah, so there's nothing to do except wait and hopefully we can go to the hotel get some good food and commence our tour of Chicago. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see you later. Um, so we just got on the shuttle and we're heading from the airport to the hotel. Everyone is split into two. So I think groups like one through three are on this one, four through six are somewhere behind us. Look for the big black shuttle, I guess. And yeah, we're all just sitting here waiting till we get there. Don't know how long it'll take, but I don't mind. Air conditioned, comfy seats. They're all doing good so far. A mountain of suitcases in the front. That's great. Yeah, Shivani, do you want to say something to the vlog? Hi. That was a great Honorary input. We love it. Singles member. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, wait. Honorary Middleton member from Singles. Who used to go to Middleton? Actually, yeah. Her loyalties yeah. are switching real fast yeah. here. Yeah. Ooh, he has a question. Actually, this is on the vlog, so now, go for it. Try laugh low. Your top teeth. You can't move your top teeth. Okay. Anyway, so with that wonderful fact of the day. Thank you. Yeah. Courtesy of Ayush. You can't move and Sitanchu. Okay, both of them. Yeah, both of you. For coming up with the fact. What? Never mind. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay. Am I in trouble? No, it, 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 don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I don't want to be sent home already. I just got Wait, so when they send us back here, do they like actually like make us buy a flight back? Oh, who knows? You'll find out when you find out. No, I won't find out. Then that's a great idea. I like that plan even better. So yeah, that's it. The rest of this video is just nonsense. So I'll wait till we get to the hotel. Yeah. Okay, so we just got to the hotel. Uh, the drive here was actually really nice. It was fun seeing Chicago. Some of the buildings are way too tall, like too tall. I don't want to be the person who's building the top floor. The architecture is really nice. Makes me excited for the boat tour that's coming up. And the hotel itself seems really, really nice. Like the outside was cute. There are like some statues around. The lobby's really big. It's really open. I think we're really enjoying it so far. Currently, we're standing in line for food. The food was here right when we got here. I'm really glad about that. Excited to eat it. It looks good. Even though I can't see it, I just I just know in my heart that it's good. Um, and I'm really hungry right now, so excited that the food is already here. Uh, yeah, so I guess we're gonna eat. I already have our room keys. Um, go up to our rooms and hopefully the rooms are just as nice as the lobby, which I think they will be. Um, so currently we all ate food. We checked into our hotel rooms. Hotel rooms are really nice. I like, actually really like them. Um, and right now we're just walking along the river walk, even though I can't see the river at all right now, but that's Will's fault. So I'll just blame it on him. We're walking just along this random sidewalk. I think we're walking through Grant Park right now or some park. I don't actually know. Um, and there are lots of flowers and consequentially lots of bugs. And yeah, it's like perfect weather for walking. We just had like an impromptu photo shoot near that gate you can maybe see in the background. Yeah, so it's good so far. And I think we're gonna catch dinner somewhere around the end of our walk, walk back to the hotel and prep for some competitions tomorrow morning. Yeah, so that's it for now. So today is the morning slash afternoon-ish of day two. So yesterday we just kind of got to the hotel. Our flight was great. We got to the hotel right on the shuttles, had some good food. The burritos were actually really nice, really filling. At least I had a vegetarian burrito bowl, but I heard everyone's food was decently good. The rooms, the rooms are really nice actually. They're like big, clean. I enjoy them. Lots of space to put stuff like food because for some reason our room has a ton of food in it. And I have no idea why. I don't know when we're gonna eat it all. We have like muffins and stuff, it's interesting. So today, what I did, me and my teammate Akalish, we had our MIS objective testing event today at 9 a.m. It was a really weird setup. Like you could bring your own laptop if you wanted to, which I did just because I don't trust school technology or I guess nationals technology, who knows where it came from. Um, and testing was great. Uh, questions were, you know, MIS questions. I think we did fine, we were just hoping for the best. I think we'll find out our results either tomorrow or the day after. And today, my favorite part of today, has been trading for these pins. It's a national pin trading. I have traded away, I have 10 Florida pins to start, and now I only have two left, which means since I want to keep one, I can only give away this top one now. But so far, I have pins from Arizona, Washington, Indiana, Louisiana, 
Oregon, North Dakota, Arkansas, and this one I think is super cool. It's Rhode Island, and I hope it's rare because I want to have a rare pin. Just here, let's have one. <laughs> Um, and I think, yeah, later we're just going to go back to the convention center, check out the FBLA swag shop. I just really want to buy a conference shirt and pin, you know, add more pins to my collection. And check out the expo hall, hopefully get some free stuff. So yeah, we'll check back with you later. Last got back to you. last time I had just started trading my pins even though I had a ton like I got rid of all of them really fast but now when it's hard because everyone already has the Florida pin so gladly I got rid of mine fast and now I'm trading other states for their pins so currently I have starting from the bottom I have Rhode Island of course I have to keep one Florida pin can't can't give that one up I got New Jersey for my Arkansas pin that I had before North Dakota I traded my last Florida pin well it's my second to last I guess for this New York pin and then my Oregon pin still here. I just traded, ooh, what did I do? I just traded Louisiana for this Colorado pin. I have Indiana, which a lot of people want, but I'm not giving that one up. Then Washington right here. And then finally, Arizona. This is the last one I'm gonna try and switch out for something cool. Um, so really, before I got into all the pin stuff, right now I'm in the expo hall where a lot of businesses, some colleges and stuff are, have little booths. They're giving away free stuff as per usual. Um, not as many booths as I expected, but I think Ms. Jones, our state advisor, she said that there might be more tomorrow. That's supposed to be really sensational, so I'm excited for that. I did get this cool bag, which I'm very happy about. It's really good quality, so maybe maybe future shopping bag. Save the trees, save the environment, who knows. Um, and we just had our Florida meeting. Ms. Jones just gave us some updates. We got introduced to our state officer team this year. Kind of sad that I never got to do nationals in person as a state officer, but it was nice seeing them up there. Really happy for what they're doing. Really excited for anyone who's running for national office this year. You know who I'm talking about. So yeah, um, I think we're just gonna end out our day with the opening session. I can't wait to hear the candidate's speeches. Here's Pushti. She wanted to, she's been doing her pin trading as well. So happy. I got you got, oh, she, your whole, you twisted this like three I, times. I have no idea what's going on. But yeah, I got a good deal for Wisconsin. What'd you, what'd you trade for Wisconsin? Florida. <laughs> okay, anyway, so I really want that one. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's all that's going on right now. We're going to go to the opening ceremony, hear speeches, do all of that. And get pizza. And then okay. go back to the hotel and get pizza and then hopefully turn in or play some taboo or cards. I'm down we for both. I'm totally doing that. 2.30 a.m. No, curfew. There is a curfew. There is a curfew. I will only say it until curfew, I promise. Okay, so until I guess the opening ceremony is when we'll next get back to you. Okay, so the opening ceremony is around like an hour, so we still have some time. But just looking right now, it looks amazing. It is such a huge venue. Like I can barely see. Well, that's an exaggeration. I can't see the other side, but it looks really tiny. And actually, they have a live band playing right now, which is like more out of FBLA's budget than I've ever seen, but it seems cool. I have no idea who they are, but it's just a cool experience to have. Um, really excited to go inside there now and just see like where Florida's sitting because the whole state sits together and then hopefully get Middleton some really good seats because we want to we wanna get the front row to this opening session. It's a huge venue, like it's gigantic. Oh, we're just going inside. And you can see that there are screens everywhere. But no matter where you sit, you can get a good look at the action that's going on. Super excited. 
excited. So we just finished the opening ceremony of Nationals, and let me tell you, it was really, really fun. The band played a bunch of sing-along songs. I think it was more like Kids Bop for adults than like, you know, a live band experience, but nonetheless, it was great. Um, we tried saving rows of seats. It worked, and then it didn't, so Middleton kind of sat everywhere. Keynote speaker, not at this time. It was more like an interview, and it wasn't very interesting. I don't know, I was playing Wordle and Flow instead, so that was, that was fun. I heard a little bit. He went on Shark Tank. And then, yeah, that's really it. He wrote a book, I guess. And then after that, we heard candidate speeches, and some of the candidates were good, but our Rob's speech, our speech was amazing. It was really nice. He did great, he delivered it flawlessly. His competitor is a national officer right now, but I think he has a great chance of making it to national office. I mean, that's the hope for it. <laughs> So yeah, right now we're waiting in this huge line to get back for the shuttle. It's like SLC after opening ceremony and getting to your hotel room, but like 10 times worse because, you know, it's the entire nation that's here. So once we get back, hopefully we can get some food and then I can take a shower and go to sleep because my feet hurt so bad. And play cards in Taboo because, you know, that's more important than sleeping. Why sleep when you can play games, right? Right, so I guess we'll see you back when we're finally relaxed and you know, not still here at like 10 o'clock at night. Just kidding, it's only 8.15. So yeah, we'll see you later. Here on my face. Okay, anyway. So today is the night of day two, and we ended up the night with a wonderful game. I guess, I don't know if you could call it like many games, because we only technically played two of cards. Um, one, our favorite, golf. Well, my will favorite. I don't know about everyone else. And most people don't like golf. I don't really get why. It's a great game. And then Spicy Uno, which is obviously the superior version of Uno. Why play normal when you can play it with more rules and more fun? With like skipping people's turn and stuff, it's the best. Um, yeah, and we had pizza and salad for dinner. I actually liked both. The pizzas were like super cute. Deep dish. I don't know that deep dish is my favorite, but it was good. I like thin crisp pizza better. So, sorry Chicago. Um, that's just my opinion. Um, so yeah, it's getting close to curfew. Will stopping to make this blog is putting us, cutting us very close. So if I'm late, it is his fault, and you have it on camera too. So, yeah, just, just in case. And also, I am wearing my um, cryptocurrency shirt that I got in Las Vegas. Whether this is an endorsement of cryptocurrency or not, I no comment. So you make of that what you will. Um, yeah, so we are all very tired. I don't know if you can tell, but we're going to go up to our room soon. Maybe sleep, probably not. And we will see you bright and early tomorrow at the expo hall and the campaign booths and our open. No, that's never mind. That's another time. Yeah, we'll see you then. Like, like that would be it. Anyway, okay, let me actually do this. Okay, so today is the morning of day three because I can't count. And really today, a lot of the preliminary performance events are going on. So I know two of my roommates, they have 3D animation preliminaries and public speaking pre prelims. So we're super excited for them. Hope they do well. The shuttles today do stop at 10.30 and then resume again at 3. So if you want to go to the convention center, 10.30 is your chance. You're going to be there most of the day. And then I think our chaperone group in the evening has a plan to go to the Art Institute of Chicago, which is going to be super duper fun. I can't wait to see the little 68 rooms that I've been reading about since I was a kid. I'm really afraid that I've just thought so much of them and they won't live up to my expectations, but that's another problem. It'll be totally fine. Um, yeah, so just this morning I got Starbucks. They did not have my drink of choice, which was very sad. Um, so I got a caramel macchiato with oat milk, with oat milk because it's great. And I'm not drinking it because I will burn my tongue if I drink it right now. That's, that's awesome, it's amazing. Um, yeah, so today was pretty uneventful so far. I tried to wake up. And then I didn't, yeah, I woke up, when my alarm finally rang, it was like 40 minutes after I wanted to wake up anyway, so it's great, just didn't hear it. Doesn't happen all the time, maybe like 60%, but that's not the point. Anyway, 
yeah, so we will probably catch you later in the expo hall. Hopefully we find Lab Sim Test Out again, get another free shirt. Super excited for that. And I cannot wait to visit Arav's campaign booth. That is going to be the highlight of my day. I hope he's going to do really well and we're really excited for him. of the conference and of course we're visiting Arav's campaign booth. He's right here. You want to say something about your campaign for the video, for the vlog? I think it's a really good campaign. Here, talk to me. Talk to oh, me. I think it's a really good campaign. Yeah, I know. It's really good. His booth is amazing. I love the colors. I think it's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna win with these lines, 100%. Thank you yeah, so much. we love it. So yeah, there's a lot of people around. I think this entire area is just for the campaign booths and everyone's really gone all out. Like there are balloons, there are websites, there's a cardboard cutout of a car right here. You can put your face in the windows. It's adorable. I love that. We should take we have to take a picture. We should take a picture. Can we can we can I I'm gonna hop in the car with the Rob Degar and I feel so cool. It's amazing. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that's it for now. Once we explore a little bit more the Expo Hall, maybe see, see something cool, we'll get back to you. workshop of the conference. It was run by a lady who is the director and direct partnership with FBLA for the March of Dimes. Really informative presentation, definitely gave us a few new ideas for how to up the March of Dimes participation in uh, Middleton FBLA. If you're wondering, I'm holding up my hand like this. There's a fountain right there and the wind is blowing it to my face. I really don't want water on my face right now, so yeah. But in the background, we're like right outside the convention center. It's like a balcony area and there's a beautiful view and a, I guess a peninsula in the, in the center. I called it an island and then I got called wrong, so I'm correcting my geographical skills, my bad. So from the March of Dimes presentation, I answered a, I asked a question about how our committee can get involved and I got a March of Dimes pin and y'all know how much I like my pins, so very excited about that. Also, someone tried to trade me for my free Oklahoma pin I found on the ground, not happening because yeah, it's just wonderful. Um, yeah, so right now we're just wandering around the expo, probably go back to the hotel, um, relax for a little bit prep for competition. We still don't know our performance results, so hopefully those come out soon. I'm really eager to see if we made it to the next round. And I guess in the evening, well actually after this we're going to get some food, hopefully. I'm starting to get hungry. And in the evening, Art Institute of Chicago, Miss Floyd has already bought us the tickets. I am so excited to go. Really just to walk around, see a little bit of Chicago, just a bit more. And yeah, that's it for now. rooms in the artists in Chicago they were so cool they had everything from a tiny chess game to multiple forks on the dining table to like looking out the window of a second story room and seeing the tops of the trees outside and it wasn't like painted they were actually like there so if you moved your head like the view would change as well it was really cool it did definitely live up to my expectations I'm very happy we got to go I want to be the tiny people in the book running through those rooms it'd be really fun Oh yeah, they had it from America, Europe, Asia, not as many Asian rooms, but a lot of America, kind of Europe, and the European rooms are bigger. Make up that what you will. But you could definitely tell the difference between like, especially with the American rooms, between California and like New York or New Hampshire, or New England, sorry, New England. 
You can definitely tell the difference in like the styles and stuff. And of course, Will's favorite were the modern rooms, which looked most similar to way up to date. But the amount of detail, amazing. Apparently, in one of the rooms, one of the desks could be unlocked with a tiny key, like literal key. I think that's so cool. Um, yeah, hopefully the rest of the museum is just as cool, but I think, I think that'll be my absolute favorite thing. So yeah, on to the next one. Anyway, um, okay, so we just finished looking through the Art Institute of Chicago. It's huge. Two hours is definitely not enough time to look through everything. I think the most confusing thing was the map. I didn't understand it at all. I would have gotten lost very easily, such as they did. They took an hour to find the suits of armor, but it was worth it because the suits of armor were very cool. There are so many swords. Like, how did they wear such heavy stuff and actually move? I don't, I don't understand. Must have been really hot, too. Oh. And that's another FBLA group, seems like it. Um, but I thought it was really, really cool. I'd love to take more time to like look at everything properly, I think. But the stuff that we did see was awesome. My favorite part is still the mini rooms. My absolute favorite part. Those are so cool to see. I guess I like looking at like the sculptures and like the figures and like the furniture and things like that because that was fun to look at. I didn't look at many of the paintings, but I'm sure those are amazing as well. So yeah, after this, we're gonna go ahead to dinner. And from there, back to the hotel for some competition prep, and that'll close out day three. <laughs> yeah, so today is the end of day three. We finished the Art Institute of Chicago, and we just ate lunch. I'm gonna say dinner at like an Asian place. It was good, it was good food. Everyone happy, full. Miss Floyd was amazing as per usual and paid for all of us. And now we're racing across the street because you know we don't want to get run over by cars. I heard it's bad for your health and stay healthy on the strip, you guys. Um, okay, Miss Floyd is gonna we'll take a hit for us. She's the best, she's the best. We, we love Miss Floyd. So we're heading back to the hotel. Um, I think we're gonna do some competition prep with my partner. We have performance tomorrow. A lot of the Middleton people made it to final run. We are super duper happy about that. So yeah, tomorrow's gonna be stressful for everyone until we finish up. Gladly, Will gets us over in the morning. I'm jealous, I get mine over in the afternoon. So I'll be stressed until then. It's like freshman year all over again. I was like, it was bad. Anyway, not the point. Um, yeah, so I was just saying how this is basically my accessory now and I cannot tell you so many people have looked at me today like I'm a YouTuber. It's terrible. I do not want to be a YouTuber. I am not a YouTuber. I'm like a mediocre blogger, as you can see from this vlog. <laughs> um, so yeah, this one girl said I should be a YouTuber. I don't know how to take that. But <laughs> Apparently I should take it well. But you know, at least I'd make a lot of money if I was. More money than I'm making now, 10, 15 an hour. Better than no wage. So yeah, this about rounds out day three. Well, I'll meet you back if I decide to play cards instead of studying, which I think is looking mighty fine right now. But I don't think I should. <laughs> so yeah, I will see you back maybe later today or probably tomorrow morning. No, definitely tomorrow morning. So yeah. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brain. Too much of love drives a man insane. You broke my will, but what a thrill. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I let you love what I thought it was funny. You came along and moved me, honey. I've changed my mind. This world is fine. It's just great balls of fire. Kiss the baby. Mm. Feels good. Hold me, baby. Well, I want to love you like I love the shit. You're fine. So kind. Got to tell this world that you're mine, 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 mine. That you're my nail guns and I twitch on my thumb. I'm real on earth, but it's so ill. the conference and I have not vlogged all day but a ton has happened. I got a very not good hours of sleep and I immediately went over to the convention center to participate in an open event. Um, it was pretty easy. It was 75 questions. I finished it around like 13 minutes. It was easy. I don't know. I think they only picked top one for open events so I probably won't win but it was fun nonetheless. It was like super easy. I didn't have to think at all. So yeah, maybe that's also why I got some, there, some you know, wrong. I might not win, you will win. No, I got, I'm pretty sure I got some wrong. I'm pretty sure the person who gets first place will get like everything, everything correct right. now. Okay. But it was fun nonetheless to try out. Well, at least you tried. Yeah, exactly. And then me and Akilesh, my teammates, I hope you guys know that maybe ish by now, um, we prepared for our competition. We chatted for a while, prepared some more, and then went in, performed. It was, it was good, I think. 
I think. Um, yeah, there's there's some stories to tell there, but don't worry about it. Um, and now, and are you smiling and, at Jack? There's a great <laughs> smile. <laughs> Bodyguard, I'm supposed to smile. I can't. You guys are supposed to keep a straight face. face. Straight face. <laughs> Terrible bodyguards. Um, and now we're waiting in this giant line to get to awards part one. I on your test. What, what is that? Is that like Garrett's? Gourmet popcorn. Ah. The marketplace. Ah, there. nice. So yeah, now we're just waiting for the shuttle as everyone else in this entire hotel seems to be doing for awards part one. And hopefully it'll be tons of fun. So yeah, we'll catch up to you wobbly once we're there. In second place, from Georgia, ah! and in first place, yeah. from Florida, Sushi. We congratulate these top competitors. So, we just finished, well, finished is loose terms. Awards of Excellence Part 1. I don't like that they split it into two this year, but I get it because it's just so long. So today there were some general awards for members and I think some advisors, and then we had the awards for open events, then middle level events, and now, and then high school events. We left after all the events that our students participated in, our members participated in, have finished. So we're heading back to the shuttles, hopefully to avoid the really long lines that would come when everyone's trying to leave at once. So super exciting. We had two winners today. Number one was Caitlin. She placed 10th in Introduction to Business Communication. Was that it? No. Yes? Introduction to something. That's so bad. And then we had Suchi Patel who placed first in the nation, continuing our tradition of people getting first in Introduction to Parliamentary Procedures. We are so, so, so proud of them and we cannot wait to see what they do next year. Hopefully she does partly pro next year because I think that's a natural course of action personally. But yeah, so very exciting. Now we're going back to the hotel, hopefully to eat some food. Hopefully I can get out of these heels that I've been walking in for three days straight because my feet are about to fall off. But that's about it, yeah. So, and hopefully the shuttle line, Never mind. I spoke too soon. <laughs> so the disappointment is evident on my face. We will see you back at the hotel if I haven't, you know, tripped over and fallen by then. Oh, when the sun beats down and burns the tar up on the roof. And your shoes get so hot, you wish your tired feet were fireproof. I'm there for one, down by the sea. So today is the start of day five, right? This is the fifth day? And let me think, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So yeah, today's the fifth day in Chicago. And we are starting out our day, not by competing, I know, shocking, we're not even in business clothes. We are walking around the city of Chicago. We walk, just walked by the biggest Starbucks in the world, but the line literally wrapped around the corner and went down the block, so it was not worth it. Right now, we're at the historic water tower, which looks pretty cool. It's also Liam's dream house, apparently. I don't, I don't understand it. But yeah, so we're just walking around. It's a really nice day for walking. I think everyone's happy. It's kind of tired. <laughs> don't, don't, don't say anything, Chayuda. Um, I'll be here. <laughs> I'm more support. Guest, guest vlog, guest on the vlog. There we go. So, how are you enjoying our t today? Um, I'm scared for the walking, but excited for bed later tonight. Ah. <laughs> and we have awards in the evening, so that'll be fun to get ready for. Finally, get to dress up, maybe a little bit more than we usually do, even though you know it's business clothes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, nothing much going on right now. Just walking, enjoying the sights. Smelling the smells, seeing dried noodles on the ground, you know, the usual in Chicago. So we'll get back to you when we see something really cool. Bye. <laughs>
Okay, so currently we are on, we are waiting on the boat for our architectural boat tour. I cannot wait to see, as we were walking around Chicago, I've seen some really cool buildings, so I can't wait to go on something that's specifically supposed to show us the architecture. I think everyone's have, everyone's excited to just rest their feet for a little bit, just kind of watch, spend some time in the sun if you're on the top. We are sitting on the bottom. That's okay, I don't mind. We get a, like a nice chair. Um, yeah, they have free drinks on board. Water and apparently bad lemonade, but you know, free, free is free. I don't think we mind. And we bought Garrett's popcorn earlier, so that'll be my snack for the boat ride. I think we got caramel and buttery popcorn because I don't like cheesy popcorn that much. Can't eat a lot of it. Yes, yeah, so we're sitting with Miss Gaines and Miss Reed. They're sitting right here. And, and I think we're all kind of just happy to. This is going to be the relaxing part, and I think we're getting started. So, can't wait to see it. Submission and presentation events will happen. We are very excited. Everyone say hi to the vlog and show your excited faces. Hello. Woo. You guys, so much energy as you can see. Everyone's ecstatic. See, there we go. That's what we want. So we're right now we are on the subway heading to McCormick Place because we did not want to wait 25,000 hours in line for the shuttle. Um, it's great. I do keep almost falling whenever the shuttle. Whenever the subway starts and stops, but it's fine. I haven't fallen yet, and that's what matters. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna sit. It's gonna be freezing because apparently they just like blasting AC. But we can't wait for awards. And look at the energy, you guys. It's already up. Everyone's just so excited we're there. Yeah, laughter and everything. So yeah, we'll vlog again once we get into the convention center. And I think this might be our stop. So we'll see you later.
day five of nationals and we have an audience in the background sorry you guys you guys can keep walking this is just for this is a vlog yeah you want to say hi to the vlog hey where are you guys from uh, nebraska nebraska friends <laughs> <Go scores. laughs> so this is night five of the nationals and currently the state of me is that I don't know if I can take another step, but for the sake of the vlog, I'll do it. I'll do anything for the vlog. It's just so great. So we just got out of awards and so many kids from Middleton made it. Basically everyone who made it to the second round of their competition placed and it was amazing. So much cheering. I think I did lose my voice, but you know, hopefully for the sake of this vlog, it stays for a little bit longer. I don't think any of you want to hear that. And then um, so I got second place in management information systems, totally unexpected since I didn't even finish my presentation on time. We got cut off by the judges. That's okay. I think they liked it. He complimented me on my pins that I'm not wearing right now. Right now we're heading back to the shuttles. It's been a great conference so far. I think a really, really good ending. I'm sad that it ended. It felt long at the beginning and now it feels too short. Hopefully we can stay up a little longer and play some games tonight, but that's up to the chaperones. So right now we're heading towards the shuttle. We're going to go back to the hotel, eat some food, hang out and then get packing to go tomorrow where our flight is at 3.30. So yeah, I think I'll talk to you once you get back to the hotel, most likely. nutrition facts of the drinks they just bought because the Dunkin Donuts line was too long um, yeah so we, today we got up we totally made it on time to check out as a chapter we did definitely most, yeah uh-huh 100% um, and then we had some nice words from Mr. Trina Mr. Kinnerfond and then we all headed out into the shuttles the shuttle ride the way here was so much shorter than the shuttle ride like from at the beginning from the from the airport to the hotel like I think it's just because at the end everything feels shorter but it was really nice so for now we're about to board our flights we all just got some food as you can see since we're waiting for a flight everyone is just sitting on the floor uh, because there are no seats near the gate for us to sit in yeah so yeah we're just waiting we're gonna get on the flight we have to fill up the back first and then we're gonna start the wonderful magical journey back to Tampa and that will end off our NLC trip for 2022 and my very last NLC trip like ever so kind of sad but it's okay it was fun so yeah we'll see you probably in the flight because we'll make me do a vlog in the flight in front of everyone there and that'll be just super duper great you're just too good to be true can't take my eyes off You'd be like heaven to touch I want to hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off you Pardon the way that I stay There's nothing else to the sight of you leaves me weak. There are no words left to speak. But if you feel like I feel, please let me know that it's real. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off you. So we just landed in Tampa, and once we get the baggage claim and everyone picks up their bags it'll be the very end of our NLC trip this plane is filled with high schoolers Liam is happy that he'll never see us again though so it's interesting yeah you might see Shivani um so yeah it was a good flight 
nothing much happened. I tried to sleep, but someone kept waking me up, so I wonder, I wonder who. I'll see maybe like. Um, and I did play some cards, so that was fun. Everybody on it. Well, that's it for now. We'll get back to once we get to back to play and ask everyone about their NLC experience once we get there. It was the best experience ever. I imagine I enjoyed it so much from day one. I made so many new friends from different places and I became closer with a lot of people that I knew but I didn't know so well. I learned a lot and I had a lot of fun and it was the best last FBLA trip I've ever had. I've experienced a lot of things and so it's been my senior year so I'm happy, you know. It was adventurous. Yeah. I like Chicago. It was good. Definitely gonna do it next year. It was amazing. Definitely super surreal. <laughs> but yeah, very surreal. I think it was the first in-person conference and I'm really excited for the next one. Honestly, amazing. I had a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, what's it called? Networking and it was a great experience, really. It was amazing. Um, sad it is our last one. Very sad. But hopefully things go well for the future generations. I'm super excited to see all the pictures. It was great. I feel as if I had a great experience. It was my first time. I'm gonna be here next year for sure. Um, I made incredible new friends and I had a great time and I'm excited to be back and work even harder for next year. I know see was really well, even though we had a place. It was really fun. Chicago was very pretty. It was really fun. Go sightseeing. Go Chicago. Chicago. It was really great. That was a sentence. Go the compound sentence. Bro, it was really great. Not only was it really great, but it was really good. And that's how we won DVP. Anyway, so this is the very end of NLC 2022. We just got to Backish Claim. We landed in Florida. And honestly, I think it's been a really amazing trip. We got a lot of awards. I made a lot of, I got closer with the members from my chapter. I loved exploring the city. It's a great new place to try. As, as everyone said, it was a little expensive, but yeah, it's, okay. it's, a, it's a once in a lifetime trip. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed the experience. Um, met a lot of new people, did a lot of pin trading. That I think is the biggest thing that everyone did. And the pin trading was very aggressive this year. It was interesting. Um, so yeah, so this is my very last trip with Middleton. I definitely will miss it. Let's see who the new vlogger will be next time. Um, yeah, and that should close out. That should close out. That should close out. That's our last time. So yeah, I guess whoever's the host next time, we will see you again.
broken feet for me. He's gonna touch me in my sleep. Like the window? <laughs> Party. <laughs> I have said the beginning of every single clip. There's gonna be so many times that we think. I'm gone right now. <laughs>